Hey, it's Jason. Welcome to WordPress Foundations. This is Module 2, Setup and Installation. This video is titled, The World Famous 5-Minute Install. So now that everything's set up, the next step is to start the installation process. But before it gets started, I want you to take a minute and consider how you want your blog installed on your website. Some marketers prefer to have a squeeze page on the default domain. What this means is you visit the website, which would be like yourwebsite.com, and you're going to see a squeeze page or some kind of form telling you about the website and a little thing for you to put in your email address. Once you type that in, you'll typically get an email telling you, thank you for subscribing, and here's a link to the blog, which would usually be located at theirsite.com forward slash blog. Most websites, however, have a blog installed into the main directory, meaning you visit yoursite.com and it's going to load up the blog, which is running off WordPress. So if you want to have your blog be your main site, what you're going to want to do is upload the contents of the WordPress folder into the root directory, meaning you open up the WordPress folder, select all the files, and drag them to the root directory for your website. If you want to have a landing page for your website, then rename the WordPress folder to something like blog, and then transfer that folder to your website meaning you would select the folder blog and transfer that to your root domain. The difference being this time you're transferring only a folder to your main directory opposed to all the files located inside the folder. From within your FTP program, upload the files in the manner you choose and once the transfer is completed, open up your web browser and enter into URL. For reference, that would either be yoursite.com or yoursite.com forward slash blog. When you do this, you'll see uh, installation screen similar to the following. And all you're going to have to do is fill out these two little boxes and you're done. So let's get started by typing in your blog title. So if you were Yahoo, this would be yahoo.com. Next, you're going to want to type in your email address. This is important. Make sure you use your real email address as WordPress will be emailing you this address to let you know of any new comments or anything else that you need to know. Now you're going to want to choose if you want your blog to show up in index in the search engines or not. Most of the time you want to check this box, but if this is a test site or a private site, you're going to want to leave that box unchecked. So once you're finished, go ahead and click the install button. Then if all goes well, you'll be greeted with your username and password. Go ahead and copy the password down into your memory and we'll change it in the next chapter. So again, that's it. Rejoice, take a break, you deserve it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. In this video we went over the exact process and everything you need to do to set up and install everything. If you're going to be using the one-click service, I created another video that shows you exactly what to do. It's step-by-step, -step, and it's going to be the one after this video. So, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you soon.